Heading over into a couple of the administrative portions of the application here in Katana, there is uh, in the top right corner um, a location where you manage your account. So uh, when it comes to billing, for example, you can, um, uh, sorry, not billing, but when it comes to uh, basic information about your business, in the top right corner under account data, you can go in here and add your display name, legal name, and also your legal address. This would be the legal address for your business that's using the application. We also have um, the team section. And as you're starting to uh, use Katana, you can add uh, team members from this page here. And there's different types of team members that you can add into Katana. That includes a regular user uh, who is actually accessing the entirety of the app that I'm demonstrating. And then we have the operator, which is related to the shop floor control app, which was covered in the last video briefly. And, uh, and that's, of course, part of the pro package. Basically, what you would do is be inviting people by their email address. They would accept the invite, and then they would come into your Katana Factory account. And if it's a user type, then it gives them the ability to see pretty much everything with the exception of the uh, billing information that's related to the subscription. Uh, so they would be able to edit, change, add, delete, see, anything and everything. So you wanna make sure that if you're adding users, that those users are the ones that need to have a full range of access to the majority of the data that is in your, um, your manufacturing um, ERP system. The operators, however, um, when, we, when it comes down to manufacturing floor personnel, those individuals only have visibility to things that are manufacturing order related and task related. Uh, they do not have direct access to uh, costing data or anything related to um, elements surrounding price, for example. So there is there is a very clear distinction, at least within the hierarchy of these two types of user accounts. At some point, we will introduce uh, more advanced functionalities that cover uh, user permissions and different types of roles. But presently, these are the current two types of user permissions and roles that we have set up in Katana. The last section here is your subscription. So this is only accessible to the account owner, the account owner being the person that created the Katana account and has original access and is the one that invites all of the users over. Because of course, when you invite new users, it incurs additional charges to the specific subscription plan that you have. So in the subscription plan here, uh, you can go inside of this, um, you can change the billing frequency. So if you are on a monthly plan, you can switch to an annual subscription um, for both our essentials and our uh, pro package. And um, you can save a little bit of money by switching to annual plan. Uh, also, um, you can manage your subscription directly by clicking on this link, which will take you into um, your billing page. And your billing page contains quite a bit of data, um, tells you all of the, uh, all of the specifics for your account. And you can also go inside of here and download all of your invoices. So um, if, you've, if you need to find one of your previous invoices, then whoever uh, has access to the owner account can do that easily in here. You can also edit and update your billing information, which includes adding your uh, credit card details and whatever is needed from that side. And there's some download links here for all of your invoices. Katana does generate invoices for every single uh, time a change is made to your account, whether you're adding people or whether you're um, downgrading, upgrading, it creates an invoice each each time. So uh, that invoice will be always available to you to see how that movement took place, or if it charged or created credits against your uh, against your account, charging your card, for example, or issuing credits in case you have unused uh, credits that would roll over, let's say during. A, ground, a downgrade from the pro package to the essential package. If you pay in advance, then those credits will be created and be used toward your um, essential package moving forward. So you wouldn't be charged extra. So uh, it's all automated. It's very useful and quite handy. Um, and we send out uh, uh, emails for your invoices whenever those subscription changes take place. And also from this page, you can uh, upgrade and downgrade as needed. And uh, there's also a link to our uh, plan pricing page. So you can see the two types of subscriptions that we have. This includes the $99 uh, essential package. It's $99 if you're on the annual version. 
Uh, it's 129 if you're on monthly version. Uh, annual, in this case, would be 299, but that's charged up front for 12 months. Um, on the monthly plan, it's 349 starting off. And down at the bottom, based on whatever your needs are for your business, you can toggle uh, how many people need to have access to the application, whatever it may be, uh, including operators, or in case if you need like any different pro features that include batch tracking, barcodes, using multiple currencies, API access, or if you have more than three warehouses within your organization where you'll be tracking stock from. And uh, that's pretty much it when it comes to the account related items. And then there's also the logout section here uh, in the top right. Now, while you're in a while you're in a demo for your trial phase, uh, the demo data does exist in the account, and there will be the delete demo option, uh, delete demo data option up here. Whenever you start deciding to add your um, your actual information into into your Katana account.